Hello, hello, welcome to lesson four. Today, we're gonna talk about updating variables. In the previous lesson, we talked about creating variables. Let's create my name again. My name equals Vincent. And now let's add a print statement right after. Print my name and then let's click run. Here you'll see it says Vincent. So now I can do my name again and now I can assign a new name. So let's put David. Cool. So to test whether we have changed this value, we can just do another print statement. So now we can just do print my name. And now if we run this code, you're going to see Vincent and then David. Notice how we're still using the same variable name and we're getting a new value, David. So basically to update a variable, all we have to do is use the same name that we named the variable. And then we use the equal sign to assign a new value. So one thing to note here is that the order matters. So if I change this and move line three, my name equals David to the first line up here. So now what we're doing here is we're saying that my name will be David in the beginning and then my name will be Vincent next. So now if I run the code, you're going to see Vincent twice because we overrode the value David and we put Vincent for it. And now we have two print statements here. Uh, so basically in programming, the order matters and code reads from top to bottom. So basically the code will read line one, then line two, line three, and then line four. Cool. So that's for updating a string. Now let's do some math. <laughs> I know some of you guys don't like math, but don't worry. This is very simple, basic math. So let's delete the code here. Okay. And let's create a new variable called lesson number. So right now we're on lesson four. So let's set the value to four. Cool. So next, for the next video, when we get to lesson five, all we have to do is just do lesson number equals five. And to prove my point again, let's put a print statement here. So print lesson number and then copy and paste that on line four. And now if you run the code, you're going to get four and five. Cool. So that's one way to update a numeric value. Another thing that we can do is we can do lesson number equals lesson number plus one. So what happens when we update a variable is that it will do the calculation on the right hand side of the equal sign first. So for example, it's going to calculate lesson number plus one. And after that's calculated, it will assign the value to lesson number. So this might look confusing right now, but basically what's happening is the code will look for lesson number. So for example, we're going to look for the box that holds the value lesson number. And then what's going to happen is we get that value. So in this case, the most recent value is five. And then we take that five. It's kind of like substituting a value for a variable. So in this case, this lesson number will become a five. Uh, let me just put a comment up here just to kind of illustrate this. So here, this lesson number becomes five. And we're, now we're just doing basic math, five plus one, which is six. And basically this will become six. And then basically after that, this value six gets assigned into this lesson number variable. Uh, so to prove this, let's add a print right after line seven. So now if we run this code, you're going to see four, five, and six. Uh, hopefully that made sense. There's actually also a shortcut for this as well. Uh, sometimes people get lazy and they don't want to write the variable name again. So what we can do here is we could do lesson number. All we have to do is give it the operator. So here we could put plus if we want to add. And then we could put the equal sign right after, and then we could just put the one. And all this does is basically the same thing here, but it's just less redundant here because now we don't have to repeat this lesson number. So now let's put the print statement right after and let's run the code. And now you see four, five, six, and seven. Awesome. So there's also other operators that we can do with numbers. For example, we can do a plus minus, and then the multiplication is a star. And with division, it's basically a slash. And finally, we can also do modulo, which is this percent sign, which basically just gives you the remainder. So for example, let's just do print 10 modulo 3. So basically what this will give us is the remainder of 10 divided by 3, which is 1. This is because when you divide 10 by 3, you get 3. And 3 times 3 will equal 9. So therefore, we have 1 remainder. So let's run this code just to prove what I just said. So as you can see here, we get the one, which is just the remainder. 
the modulo operator is usually used to determine whether a number is even or odd. So basically, here, if we take 10 and we do modulo 2, this will give us a 0, which just means that it is even. And if we do 11 modulo 2, this will give us a 1, which means it's odd. This is because anytime you divide a odd number by 2, you always get one remainder. Cool, and that's basically how you update variables. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so that way you won't miss out on any new lessons.